discover the power of Tempur-Pedic sleep at Raymore and Flanagan. With Tempur-Pedic's pressure-relieving comfort, you'll fall asleep faster, stay asleep longer, and wake up ready for anything. Raymore and Flanagan offers up to 72 months no interest financing. Plus, get your new Tempur-Pedic tomorrow with Raymore and Flanagan's free next-day mattress delivery, seven days a week. Raymore and Flanagan, your elite Tempur-Pedic retailer. Time and temperature from TD Bank. Let's set sail. We're charting a course straight to deliciousness. It's time for the Choose Yacht Party. The fabulous Hillary Duff is coming aboard to make an easy, tasty creation with Michael. Then from waves to flames, Clinton's serving up cocktails that will make you the captain of your next get-together. Plus, Carlos got a dessert so good, you'll shout, oh, booey. We are all so sexy right now. So anchors away, because the Choose Yacht Party starts right now. You know, you're just in time. We're about to set sail on a culinary adventure, and we'd love some company. Who wants to join us? Oh, good, because today we need all hands on deck. You're invited to the Choose Yacht Party today. Winding down. Party. We're very bougie. We're very bougie. <laughs> I, now that I, I could swear that one day I heard you call it beige. So I've been, oh. every time I hear the word bougie, I call it beige. beige. Now. We're being very beige. <laughs> well, it all started from that. Remember the video? Did you guys ever see the video of the kid making fun of the, them making mac and cheese on the Food Network? And they started putting fancy things. Oh, yeah, mac yeah. And cheese. He's yeah. like, quit being so bougie. Bougie. <laughs> I used to say that as kids. Yeah. It's like. You did say bougie as kids? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing until recently. Thing. Oh, Well, you know. You're ahead of the times, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys want to talk about? Oh. We had last week off. Yeah. And you, I saw on your Instagram, you were doing a little Halloween dress up. So I, for the fourth year in a row, I did the Halloween Baking Championship. Yeah. Um, so needless to say, it's not going to air until... Um, Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> I'm going to go with Halloween for $5, Alan. <laughs> but I got to dress up. We were in New Orleans. It was amazing. I had really great food, great costumes. Yeah. I love doing that. Did you get some free time when you were there? I got two days of free time, and we were crafting out by the pool. I had one of my costumes. We were painting out by the pool. You're I was crafting? thinking about you. Yeah. Can't stop Carla from that. Awesome. How about you? What we'll did you do last week? Well, we went out and we did that. We did HSN for the Simon Home thing, which was fun. Yes. Like, yeah. I'm still learning how to do that world. Liz and I, like, doing it together. So it's, and she, we, we were more alert and awake this time, which is good. But um, the first time we weren't, like, the, like we got to the last time. You know, you do, like, six of these things in a in a small window it starts at like midnight and then it just i mean you know you've been doing it kind of forever yeah, you see but, but it, by the last one like you know liz designs all the stuff mm -hmm. and i talk about how it functions you know that's right. my role so i talk about how the pan functions and we're on the last one and we're both a little you know <laughs> and I, a little cockeyed and i said i said so lizzie tell them about the design and she's kind of glazed and she goes the pants they're so pretty and i'm like <laughs> what a loser we're losing her. She's going down. This is going down. They're so pretty. So oh, they're so pretty. Tell us about that pretty. Well, yeah. But the, the fun, the, the, the thing that really was funny that happened to me this week it was, as you guys know, I talk to my dad every morning. We're early risers. I wake up at like five. Usually by five thirty, I call my dad. We kind of catch up on sports and what's going on. And, he tends to have funny stories sometimes. So it's the first thing is, as I've talked about on the show, he still has a flip phone. He just won't go to, I said, Dad, let me buy you a smartphone. I don't need a smartphone. I'm smart. I'm in control of the phone. So, but today, for, or last week, he got intrigued by emojis. And he wanted to understand how they work. Like, when I press the smiley face, does it automatically go at the end? 